Hi everyone, welcome to Live Darts. We're here in Minehead for the Players' Championships, but we've got PDC official Kirk Bevins with us. Kirk, thanks for joining us. No problem. A lovely tournament down here so far. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, always love it in Minehead. Yeah, great tournament. Special atmosphere. Great atmosphere, yeah, with two stages, and um, I really enjoy stage two with the, the low ceiling, and when you've got a good game and a lot of people in there, the atmosphere is brilliant. Obviously, Ali Pali is only two weeks away. Looking forward to heading back to that great venue and special stage. Yeah, yeah, Ali Pali is, is, the, is the business, it's where it's all done, and uh, yeah, one of my favourite tournaments. From an official's point of view, do you have to do a lot of like homework in relation to players wise and things like that when you're calling games not homework as such you, you do it for such a long time that you kind of um, you know where they're going to go and you, the way I stand as well I can see out the corner of my eye if they're looking up or down so on 84 left they might go 20 or 16s I can see if they're going 16s and it just buys me that extra second to add on 48 to whatever they've uh, hit already um, but that's that's the only real thing you just got to know which which way they go for out shots just to make my job a little bit easier I guess as well where the field's bigger some of the players that we don't see so often may cause officials a few headaches here and there like the Dutch lads especially that go funny ways with the ball and things like that. Yeah, yeah, there's, uh, and I'm always learning still and there's some really, you know, one three fours and one four twos when they start on 17s, you know, and they'll, they'll go treble 17 and then single 17 and then they'll just shove the treble 14 in there last start. And you're just like, oh, what's that, you know, and you've got to be really on the ball. But uh, yeah, they're using the ball a lot and... Um, yeah, it's hard work. It's hard. Obviously, well, we know the players get here nice and early. Officials, how, how do you, how when do you get to the venue? A couple hours before, or is it like three, four hours the same as the players? Oh, I'm here eight hours before. I'm, I'm practicing my, my maths and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. We, we, we just like an hour before and. Um, just get used to the atmosphere, whatever, you know, we know what the job's like, and so, uh, so yeah. As well, being that PDC official has changed over time as well, because we've now got the, the third official where when you're not on the stage, you're looking at the encroachment zone and things like that, because gamesmanship is very topical at the moment, so I'm guessing it's quite a busy time for the third official as well. Yeah, yeah, we're always looking out for that, um, yeah, swearing on stage, stuff that they shouldn't be doing, encroachment on the exclusion zone, everything like that, um, yeah, yeah, nothing gets past, there's so many cameras and, and, and stuff, so they can't get away with anything now. Again, is gamesmanship becoming tougher to officiate on the stage as well, because there's a fine line between celebration and, and going over the top, so is that getting harder and harder to judge as an official? Currently, there's no hard and fast rule what you, you can't do with gamesmanship. People just know what gamesmanship is and think you, that you can't really do that. I think in the future there will be rules put down to say, look, this is stepping over that imaginary line. Um, but yeah, and, at the moment it's just uh, it's just we've got to make a decision and say, look, just calm it down because sometimes it is over the top, particularly if they're in their face, you know. Um, to me, that everyone's different, but to me, I think just yeah. you don't need that. Celebrate, but away, you know. Again, talking about the world, obviously it's Christmas time. Everyone loves it. Have you got a favourite World Championship memory? Good question. Um, well, I've, I refed Phil Taylor's last ever game on TV, um, the world, world final last year. So that's probably my, my favourite game. Oh, Barnevel versus Van Gogh in the, the, like, a couple of years before that. The the semi -final. 107 average or whatever. Uh, it's something silly, and I mean, Barney won. Um, I, well, there was one that Barney won. Um, it was amazing. Like that was that was my best game, but then the Phil Taylor Rob Cross game probably surpasses that in the fact that it was Rob Cross's first year and he won, and it was Phil Taylor last year. Um, As an official, do you get spine tingling moments on that stage? Yeah, yeah. When, when, especially when the, there's a lot of crowd in and uh, and they're making all the noise. Um, the, I can feel off the atmosphere as well, and I'll give it large when there's big checkups going in and all this sort of stuff. Um, and I, I enjoy the game, especially if it's a fast-paced game, I get really into it. As well, again, not every hardcore darts fan will know, but obviously you were Count Nine Champion of Champions. How did that transition from game show mastermind to PDC official happen? Um, yeah, just, uh, just, just, I suppose the countdown thing helps with the work under pressure and um, ignoring the TV cameras because I've had you know 15 episodes of Countdown and I've done other TV shows, so you just ignore the cameras. And, and get on with it. Uh, and it's just the focus and time pressure. Um, but yeah, re knowing the right people and that usually helps. <laughs> as well, obviously, one of your compatriots, Russ, is known as the voice of darts. But you're getting that similar tag for your 177s and 174s as well now. Yeah, I, yeah, I have. Yeah, I think it's. Um, 
I believe they're as good as, if not better than, a 180 because you've still got three big trebles. And you know, if I was to hit a 177 and you just went 177, I'd be like, hang on a minute, give me some credit. <laughs> so I like to give it large for 171s, 174s, 168s, whatever. Um, yeah, why not? Do you have a favourite player to officiate? Oh, I can't answer that. Oh, tactical answer. So that's a yes, but you won't answer it. I, I, I prefer fast throwers because if it was if they're slow, I, my mind wanders, uh, and I've got to be focused. It's such a hard job, um, and that sounds ridiculous to think a fast thrower you've got less time to concentrate. But my mind wouldn't wander then. I'm focused on my job. So fast throwers. Absolute pleasure. Thanks for joining us here at Live Darts in the build up to the World Championships, mate. And good luck today when you go on stage. Thanks a lot. Cheers, Phil. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Give me, give me a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what.